welcome. I'm Chicho. This is GE Gadele. Um, this is the first visit salon of this semester. Yeah. Um, this is about healing voices and songs. This is a place where we used to host a lot of music salon with lots of students holding up vinyls, records, and all CDs sometimes. Uh, by the way, when you were waiting in the waiting room, I was playing um, the godfather and the pioneer of ambient music, Brian Eno. Uh, back in the 70s, he invented this kind of music, which is highly related to, to today's topic. Uh, we'll talk about more about him. And of course, we also have some crystal balls and uh, some did you reduce, a lot of records, um, and some okra prawns from our rooftop farm. And um, we also have our guest today, we'll be showing up later um, with the musical instruments and the voice flow singing, singing about and Michael Lyle, here we are over there. Just come by and say hi first. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay? Okay, yeah. see you later. Yeah. <laughs> So it jumps from Brian Eno's MB music to soundtrack to mixing color. Now, this is the first vinyl I want to play to you tonight. This vinyl player has been with me for many years. I've been a radio DJ for many years, and vinyl music, thank goodness, is coming back. And now you can hear over your computer or mobile. And the first track, flows of the spring or spring flows. Imagine the color of that sound. note right but then there are actually more details in the note than you might have like there are more details in the note so I'll, I'll demonstrate so normally I would sing a note like ah uh, that's a normal ah uh. but then if if I do something like uh, hey You can hear there are two notes, mm. but then that that higher note you heard was actually generated from the note, the fundamental note. Mm. So normally I do that. I just close my eyes and I could do it for like three hours, wow. like because <laughs> I could I like I could go and I and I practice to um, to control or to regulate my my own breathing speed. Like how often do I breathe and how long do I inhale. And how slow do I exhale? Mm -hmm. According to different situations. Like normally, if you see a tiger, or that's how our mechanism works, mm -hmm. body mechanism. If you see something when you're in danger, mm -hmm. like you instantly, you, you yeah, you get nervous, and then you breathe faster, and mm. you get more active. But then, in in a city, I think we need to learn how to just to be calm and do nothing and mm. just breathe, focus on breathing. So I think that's a great tool. Mm. And there's no wrong or right way to do mm. it. Mm. It took me, I think, two to three years to make it like a little more presentable. <laughs> two to three years. Two to three years. Because at first it sounds like <laughs> I said you hear two notes and like mm. people don't hear it and I get really mm. frustrated. But it's not about producing that note. It's about what kind of state you have to be in to produce that note. Mm. So I, I close my eyes. I sit straight and I just now in, in the middle. I I, I realized my shoulders was, were tight. So. I, and let it down, mm. and you, you're tuning your body, you're tuning mm. your alignment. Mm. So 
through through that practice. I think I, I wouldn't say it's a performance, but it's a practice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then you align yourself. But yeah, you, you mentioned about the state mm -hmm. uh, of yourself. I think that brings uh, that that goes back to your point about intention. Mm -hmm. So when you make the sound, the intention is important. Or even if you play an instrument, your intention is important mm -hmm. because. Um, sound is like the, the your intention is the energy behind the sound. Mm -hmm. So you it is the the it is the information or the code that you put into your sound, mm -hmm. and it travels to the listener. Wow. So if you put your energy of a, like a loving and compassionate mm -hmm. energy, then it travels mm -hmm. to the listener and like mm -hmm. including yourself. Okay. If you love, you have a feeling of love, and you make a note. It is totally different from. Mm. When you are like in an anger state, or so it's not just about this or, or this. It's really from here. Yeah, and, and but it's then, from your heart. But then, how I, how how does that two or three years or to to? Because I think my, my students would love to know, two to three years, what's the step by step guide that they can do that or or improve that to the level that we can hit that note or or to to can or we can feel oh this is a song or or we have the voice that can we can self-healing plus I mean mechanism I think it's to be aware that you are a breathing human mm. being okay. sometimes we breathing. forget we forget that we're breathing okay. that's for just example, some exercise. <laughs> I think I think a lot in a lot of situations when you can't do something for example I was doing a uh, wake surfing mm. and uh, playing pool I everything when you or even when you're uh, doing archery sometimes when you're too focused you forget to breathe you hold your breath mm. and then you're not functioning you're out of so you, even though you're doing something very stressful or something, you should still you should still remember to breathe and breathe through the process. So once you realize your breath and you should know how long your inhale is, how long your exhale is. So normally I'll do four seconds inhale, four seconds exhale for a certain period of time. So you get used to this rhythm mm. and, and it brings you really calm and then you start you start experimenting with noises, like mm. uh, sounds. Like normally, when you speak, you use your focal folds. But then there are actually other places in your in your throat, so you can make like uh, uh, different sounds, like oh, oh, oh. So instead of just this is not your only voice. You can mm. experiment, experiment, and at first it sounds like, uh, but nothing is wrong. You should mm. ex experiment like different muscles mm -hmm. and how your mouth, like a i o u, mm -hmm. if you do it really slow, it mm -hmm. sounds like a. Mm. And then there are details inside mm. everything, so I think you have to slow down and pay attention. And then you will and do the same thing repetitively, mm. but then change mm. your own perspective. You will see a lot of details inside. Ah, so this is flow singing, how we travel. This one is a yeah, very weird kind of flute. Yeah, it's called a tr tr I don't know how to pronounce only it. Only three holes. Yeah, yeah, only three holes, and it has no. Uh, it's just a round like stick so mm. <laughs> it takes it took me a year to to make it to make wow. a sound out of wow. it your barrier is two to three years for something and then this front is one year yeah. okay we got work hard <laughs> it took me a year to make a sound out of it but then in Mo in in mongolian music there is a, something called ch uh, chow or chur t-s-u-u-r is sure. when is when two notes they mm -hmm. interact mm -hmm. so and in uh, Scottish bagpipes, uh -huh, uh -huh. It, try singing a note like uh, 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 you get what I mean? Uh, okay. so that's when when you it, so there's a relative uh -huh, uh -huh. If, you, if there's a fundamental note, then you can play around it. Uh. So this is the same. Normally the flute sounds like this. Very gentle flute, oh. but then normally they play it with a fundamental note with their voice. So, mm -hmm. so they. <laughs> so 
so you do the whole... You're doing both thing. You're blowing the pipe, yeah. but you're also doing the whole thing. Yeah, and you normally, normally you blow a whistle like this, right? You, mm -hmm. But you could do it like... You could still use uh -huh. your... Yeah, so you could do more things together. <laughs> <laughs> to create the sound, yeah. Wow. And it, it takes... It, it takes a lot of concentration to do it. So, it, the first time, like maybe just now at my demonstration, but if you give me an hour, I, oh, it would sound a lot more better. Because I'm more <laughs> okay, more we got focused. some time. <laughs> more, more focus and more concentrate. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh, somebody said, uh, Ada, she likes the intro in Panther song. Thank you. Soul pop. Yeah. yeah, that's what they did, you know. And if you guys want to do more uh, of this kind of pipe, I, I think Mongolian pipe is kind of um, wear yes, and this very difficult. Rare. But did you redo? We have two over there. Let's uh, let's talk about the stories. And later on, we'll do more jamming or whatever sharing. Okay. okay. You do you want to talk about this one first? Uh, this is actually mine, but I don't know how to blow because we have a friend, a music friend, common Hakuai. friend, Hakuai. Uh, he had a G class here, doing this kind of. This is not anything particular. Is it just PVC? Yeah, it's an uh, industrial pipe, you know, for toilets, for kitchens and all that, water pipe. But then he teach, teaches our student to use some kind of wax as the blow mouth piece. Yes. And then to do this handmade, homemade didgeridoo. And we can try this later. So didgeridoo is from Aboriginal people, yes. mostly in Australia first, yeah. and then spread around the world now. And this is your own version. Yeah, actually anything with uh, that kind of size that fits your mouth, Mm. You just basically you're doing a, a sound inside. Mm. So it sounds like this. I'm not sure where the mic is. It'll be here. And then that was just my lips. But then if I add like a sound. And then there is also another technique called um, circular breathing. Mm. So maybe you've heard that Kenny G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like Kenny, that's, that's yeah, the 30, 30 minute long note. stop. Yeah. yeah, 30 minute long note. So you, you, your breath couldn't be 30 minutes long, but then there are ways like to, to like mimic that your <laughs> that your oh. breath is. So how long is yours? The record. My record for uh, holding my breath. Yeah, circular. Oh, for breathing. circular breathing, there there is no record because. <laughs> Because I could There's do no it. limit. There's no limit. It depends how, how, how long you do it. But then, um, if I hold my, I actually practice uh, holding my breath. Yeah, yeah. I could hold my breath for four minutes. Wow. Yeah, but I have to be, like, still. Okay. Very still. If I move around, maybe it's a minute okay. or something. Well, it's already hard, you know. It's very hard, and I no. yeah, and I'll show you the circular breathing thing. Sure. So, every time I do this, I use my mouth to to squeeze the air out instead of my airway. Well, normally you're, you're using your airway, but then you could use your mouth. So, so I would squeeze and I would breathe in with my nose. Yeah, mm. and it's a very interesting concept as well. But yeah. you, I, too bad you can't do it, you can't do it with singing. Because you only have, you can't fake it with mm -hmm. your mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, in this past few years, I think um, some local artists like Hwan Si also invited mm -hmm. um, Hak Wai to do it in the performance, yes. in the Coliseum shows. Yes. And back in the 90s, a guy called Jamar Hua, yeah. JK also did it in the 90s. Also put this kind of Aboriginal music. It's also very kind of um, cosmic. Or sometimes people call it spiritual music. Mm. Yeah, know, because the the, the, the free, yeah the, the frequency, frequency that yeah. it is making is very strong, uh -huh. and, and it's a great tool for meditation. Uh, actually, the Aboriginal people use mm. that to communicate with the nature oh, okay. and the, the other animals and the, the vibe of the universe. Mm. So I did actually try to listen to this to do a meditation. It's very very powerful. You oh. can, really expand, your expand your I think because the, the, the yeah. frequency fills up the whole the whole Spence. environment because uh, when you listen you listen to the sound right but then you could also listen to no sound 
mm. like there is an environment that uh, holds the sound mm. so you can differentiate from the sound and the background environment mm. but when you when you're playing an instrument if you are aware of the background you could sing a note like Ooh, but then it doesn't fill the room mm. you, have, mm. you have to don't just like lock your sound here <coughs> that's only here but if you open your body and open the room it could be that you could feel the vibration more using your own body as an instrument okay does it relate to one concept that I came across in your PowerPoint actually we'll share that later um, entrapment what does it mean um, so it just uh, it means that if the object has a one object has a bigger vibration yeah it can change the vibrational frequency of another object. Oh wow! Even let's say it is a, uh, a um, it's a um, like the tuning fork example. Uh -huh. So you can bring one tuning fork, mm -hmm. you hit it, so it starts to vibrate, mm -hmm. and it bring you bring it close to another one. Yeah. Even though you don't touch it, then the other one would start to oh. uh, like. Vibrate at the same frequency. Same as human body. Same as human, human body. Yeah, 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 and also yeah. animals and. Yeah, and so, so you can see the, uh, the 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 monks who use the Tibetan bow uh, uh, for sound healing. Yeah, they yeah. Uh, not only they play, but they put it in over your body. Mm. Like if my knee uh, mm -hmm. has just got injured, you mm. can actually play. Uh, put the bow very close to it, okay. so it would change the frequency. Uh. Of, oh, of have the you, you you could even change the taste of the wine. It's, oh, wow. it, it's a very uh, effective experiment. Uh -huh. We've tried it many times yeah, with a tuning fork. Uh -huh. The same two, like two glasses of wine. Uh -huh. so it's the same, but then one has been like tuned. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just changes the whole taste. Just wine. How about water? Because I know you guys have a, a very oh, special absolutely. kind of water. Absolutely. Wine, you um, sorry. What is that in English? Uh, wine and soy. water. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are big yeah, fan of Kanye Water. Absolutely. Um, we have actually we, we prepared some videos that uh, to PowerPoint. share. Yeah. yeah. But we are not showing it here. You can see that it is a demonstration. So mm. what the scientists has uh, built is something called the cymoscope. Uh -huh. And uh, they put uh, like a bowl of water, and mm. then they put a camera. Mm -hmm. When they hit with uh, when they play certain frequency, the water actually shows up some patterns. Mm -hmm. and they are extremely beautiful patterns mm -hmm. and at the higher vibrational frequency that you play onto the water then it has mm -hmm. more complicated and more um, mm -hmm. beautiful patterns okay. and so what does that have anything to do with us mm -hmm. because remember our body is over 70% water, water. Yeah. so when we listen to some nice frequency that carries love and joy and mm -hmm. care our body actually vibrates beautifully inside us Okay. So that is a direct entrainment effect mm. that you are practicing. I think it may stuff. sound a bit complicated <laughs> and a bit far away from us, but it's actually, <laughs> but it's actually very a very simple the yeah, concept. It, it, down to earth. It's yes, just you know. like ah. Oh. Yeah. 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 And so water is, water really matters. Yeah. Um, on that note, let's drink some water and then we'll be back. Do a little jamming and okay. then, of course, a lot of students may be waiting for some stories or, or about how you compose your songs or, okay. or you bring your guitar maybe uh, talk about your travel log or some sure. some music stories but before that you said you wanted to explain a little bit of this wax okay give you a close up this wax is a special kind to do this Hakwa's version yeah, of did you redo yeah yeah I'm sure. I'll, I'll show here no 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 show, show that show that show that. oh sorry okay okay you can talk okay please explain because uh, this uh, there's some bee wax on top of that didgeridoo and the first didgeridoo I bought is actually is actually in Peru mm. so I, I went up to a mountain and I saw a guy and then he actually sold me his didgeridoo which was really smelly mm. because he was using it for a long time mm. and there was a lot of bee wax on it mm. and I actually bought it off him and then I asked him what if I need more bee wax mm. <laughs> and then he, he was chewing something he just took it out from his mouth and he passed it to me like, that's how you do it. That's how you, they, they chew, you chew the bee, you chew the honey, and then what's left is the bee wax. And he just gave it to me. It's all wet, and I have to mold <laughs> it. So it was, it was a really interesting experience. And then after I bought the didgeridoo from him, okay. he drank some um, aqua de florida. I think it's like flower water thing. Uh -huh. And then he spat it on me, like, 
Wow. On my whole, fa on whole body and my didgeridoo. Ooh. He said it's a blessing. Blessing. <laughs> but then it was a bit awkward. Like suddenly you yeah. go, go up to someone and spit on their face and say, <laughs> bless you, right? So This is not that one. And it's, it's not that one. one. This is just like it's a plastic. The, the other, yeah, next it's a time we can one. bring, bring yeah. that one. And it's still okay, that one. Yeah, still, yeah, still, still blowing. Yeah, still. Song? Or? That would be lovely. You want to hear? <laughs> I'll see you, my mom. Yeah. Jam with you. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Yeah. It's a mic king. Okay. Mic to lie like you, yeah. G music along.